Namaskar, welcome to Desi Aroma. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce you to my little uh, one. I've got two. So he's Snuggle. Uh, we're going to do uh, today one of our famous uh, mutton curries, goat curry. You can use lamb curry. And um, I'm going to show you the ingredients which uh, we're going to use today. So these are the ingredients. Of course, uh, what we are using today is 2 kgs of goat. So 2 kilos of goat, that's 4.4 pound of goat. I'm going to use some potato in it. My wife likes these potatoes, so we're going to do meat and potato dish today. The potatoes have haldi, that's turmeric and salt on it. So haldi and namak uh, on the potato and it's mixed. Now I'm going to go to my wet ingredients first. Now I've got some sliced uh, green chilies, uh, the sliced ginger. Then I also have finely chopped ginger and garlic. I've got tomatoes, uh, onions, and then cilantro uh, dhania for garnishing. In my uh, dry ingredients, I'm going to show you the uh, the whole masala first. The kali elaichi. Uh, this is the green kal uh, elaichi. So these are called cardamoms. Uh, I've hit them and broken the seeds out so we can get that out of it. Long, which is um, clove. Uh, cinnamon, which is dalchini, tejpatta, which is bay leaf, and then these are um, uh, jeera, sabut jeera. This is whole cumin seed. Um, the ground ingredients I've got starting with salt, I've got red chili, dried mango powder, the whole coriander, uh, the co uh, ground coriander powder, that dhania powder. Uh, ground cumin powder, haldi, uh, this is jeera powder, haldi, turmeric and then um, this is the kasuri methi. This is kasuri methi which I'm going to put uh, with these. Now just uh, to tell you what a 2 kg will take, it's uh, about uh, 2 and a quarter teaspoons of salt, uh, about uh, 1 and a half teaspoons of red chili powder, that's cayenne powder about half a teaspoon of the dried mango powder. I've got two, two uh, teaspoon, two, uh, two and a half teaspoon of uh, the dhania powder, about three quarters or half teaspoon of uh, the jeera powder and about half a teaspoon of the haldi powder. And just your, uh, um, about I would say a, a teaspoon of kasuri methi. Okay, what we're going to do is, uh, this potato has been marinating uh, with the salt and haldi, the namak and turmeric mixture for about 30 minutes. So we're going to get this um, fried first and once it's fried we'll add that at the end. For frying I'm going to get some uh, uh, oil heated up. We'll use one of these fry pans here and get the oil heated up and once that's done we'll fry these and then get started with the other thing. Now my pan is hot, the oil is real hot. I've got it on full uh, high at the moment and what I did with these potatoes was put it in a strainer because the salt will make it um, sweat and a lot of moisture will come out, water will come out. So put it in a strainer so all water is gone out and then just add your potatoes very slowly to your pan. Be careful because the oil is hot so you need to carefully add this to your pan. Once that is added We'll let it fry and once the uh, potatoes um, heat comes back to normal, we'll lower that to medium high instead of high. My potatoes are exactly where I want them. I had reduced my heat to much uh, even lower than the medium because these were turning brown too fast. They're not fully done, so they still have a little bit left uh, on the inside which will finish off in, in uh, the final cooking. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put them back in the strainer here. What I did was I used uh, the rest over oil which was left in the potato frying. I put it in my pot and I added some more oil and the first thing I'm going to do is throw in all this. Now my oil is fairly hot so I'm going to put all this in and you can see it's sizzling in there. So 
and you don't want to keep it too long because you don't want it to burn so you have first thing on the wet side with that whole spice is your um, garlic uh, the lasun so this goes in first because you want to fry this a little before you put your onions in but you don't put the ginger and the lasun is about 2 uh, tablespoons of lasun and as you can see because the oil was pretty hot this has turned golden brown already and this is what i'm looking for uh, once that white is gone of that golden brown i'm going to add my onion now these are two and a half uh, large size onions so fairly large size onion and if you're going to use smaller onions use about three and a half to four onions so in goes the onion and now we're going to fry this with the with the garlic and the khada masalas and we'll let this fry till it's golden brown and then add the other ingredients onions in here they are nice and brown and the onions were cut cut long way sideways you know you can do any ways you want uh, it's fairly forgiving so the onions don't have to be cut any certain way now what i'm going to do is once this has come to that in goes my uh goat meat so the goat meat is going to go in and i'm going to now with this goat meat add the salt to it so um, in about 5 minutes i'm going to add actually the salt so let's fry this a little bit with the onions and all once i've added the uh, the goat meat in it i'm going to take half of the salt and put it in there so we're going to just leave half on the plate and also in goes the the ginger which has been uh, crushed ginger or finely chopped or a ground ginger anything you want to put and just mix all this up and we're going to fry all, all this ingredients for a good 10 minutes before we add anything else to it this has been about 10 minutes and it's been roasting in here it has left some water that's fine I'm going to now go ahead and add all my dry ingredients to this. So everything goes in here at one time. We'll just mix it up and let this uh, mix up for about another, I would say, five minutes. So we're going to roast these dry masalas, dry spices with with the goat meat for about five minutes. and then add a tomatoes to it. Uh, it's been another 5 to 7 minutes so I've been roasting my goat meat with the spices. If you look at this, this is what you're looking at. All the oil and spices, um, the oil is separated from the spices and it's very nicely roasted. So when you see that part, what you're going to do is add these tomatoes to it. So I'm going to add this tomato and I'm going to just do a mix on it. And once I have done this mix, I'm going to uh if you turn around, here's my pressure cooker. Uh this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add all this mutton into my pressure cooker. I'm going to add the water to it as much gravy I want and then we'll uh, just uh, let the meat get nice and tender in it so you know right after adding the tomatoes and mixing it up uh we're going to add now this all to the pressure cooker and add the water which it's needed so in goes my meat and the tomatoes as you can see the tomatoes are still as we put it in because we haven't let any time which has gone by to it so we're going to do this and then add some water to it okay so in goes the water i'm adding a full glass full of water let me just mix it up and see if this is what i need as my gravy and it seems like it will need some more so i'm going to add some more to it it's another half half of that and we'll let this in for about i would say a good 25 20 to 25 depending on your pressure cooker i want this to become nice and tender 
Now if you're wondering why I moved my uh, meat from the pot to the pressure cooker, the pot is used because it's much wider. I can, uh, when I'm roasting my uh, meats and all, it's, it's much easier for me to do in there. But to make it tender, I definitely need this pressure cooker. You can still do it in a pot, but it's going to take a long time. But this pressure cooker is much faster. In another 20-25 minutes, we should be ready with this meat. I've turned this into high, and once uh, I get about one or two pressure vessels on it, I'm going to lower it down a little, let it go for another 10-15 minutes. Okay, so it's uh, it took me about 30 minutes because this uh, I think was an older goat, so it was much tougher on the meat. So what I'm looking at is in 30 minutes, if you look at the meat, see it's it's almost ready to fall apart, and and as you can see, this is fairly tender. So this is when I open my pressure cooker. And I'm going to now add my potatoes to it. So potatoes go in and you remember the julienne ginger and the green chilies. So I'm going to add that to this too. So all this goes in. I'm going to give it a quick mix and I'm going to let this pressure cooker be closed again. And I'm going to do one more whistle. So one pressure whistle to it and then our meat will be done. This is, uh, we've just taken it out after with that one vessel. Uh, garnish it with some green cilantro and voila, there you go. So this is your potato and meat curry and again I want to thank you all for coming back to my show Desi Aroma and I also want to thank you for the wonderful response I've been getting from you all. We have crossed half a million uh, views on our channel and I'm so pleased for that. So I'm going to be putting some more videos for you all. So stay with us and thanks again.